Hello you guys. Thanks for coming back for another video. I so, so appreciate you guys. You're so wonderful. But today we're gonna talk about, or we'll not talk about, but I'm gonna show you the month of May in my happy planner because it is just about to wrap up. So I'm gonna give you a flip through of what I did in my planner in the month of May. So this is how I did my currently page and I did a plan with me on this. So I'll go ahead and link that down below if you wanna check it out. But I just went ahead and filled out all of my favorite things, what I'm watching, all the stuff. So I'll let you guys watch that other video if you want to see exactly what I put or I will go ahead and zoom you in here. There, now you can kind of see what exactly I put on that page. So and we had a few birthdays to celebrate. We had Cinco de Mayo, which was fun. We actually did taco night. That was a lot of fun. And then I've really been liking using these inspirational quotes down here in my monthly goal section. So I really like that. And then I also really like just kind of using this as like a self-care thing. So remember to do these things. I put like read a book and Manny Petty because of Mother's Day, but I think I'll put other like self-care type things in this box just to kind of remind myself monthly to take care of myself in my planner as well. So that's what I did in my currently section. All right, so this is how I did my monthly spread and I'll take my monthly bookmark out of there for you guys so you can kind of get the full picture, but this is everything that we had going on. We are going to be going camping this weekend, but I haven't added that yet. So that is the only thing that's not on there. But again, I use my monthly section really, really functionally and it really works for me. It's kind of like an overview of my month. If I don't have my overview done, then I am lost when I am planning my weeks. So the month is the most important part for me and that's just how I like to use it. All right, and so these are my weekly pages. I'm really excited because I did get to use the checklists on this one. I made really good use of those. So I feel like I'm doing really well on that one. I went ahead and did a cactus spread and I didn't do a plan with me on this one just because sometimes, you know, you need to be in your planner without a camera present. So sometimes I just need to kind of, you know, use my planner as I intend it to, you know, just kind of be a little bit of self care for myself. I use this planner to center myself. I use this planner to, you know, be a hobby and to kind of relax myself when I need something to do. So I definitely did this spread on my own just to kind of get a little bit of that, but I thought it would be fun to do a cactus spread because this week was the week of Cinco de Mayo. So I thought it was kind of, you know, fitting to do cactuses on the week of Cinco de Mayo. So that was a lot of fun. The big boxes, these came from, I think they came from the rainbow sticker book. All of the little cactuses, I think came from like the tiny sticker book. I'll double check on that and link it down below if that's not right. And then all of these came from the colorful boxes. Same with the checklist. These are the colorful boxes boxes checklist and I really like them. And then this focus sticker, this came from the wellness sticker roll, I believe. So I'll link everything down below. I really liked how this turned out. Then you guys loved the plan with me that I did on this spread. This was so much fun to do. And you guys asked great questions. You watched this video like none of my other plan with me's have ever been watched before. You guys loved, loved, loved this spread and I loved making Making it. I love how it turned out and how it looks now all full and done. It is amazing. I love the colors. I love that it's like girly and feminine, but also like, yeah, I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> you know, I'm the boss, that kind of thing. So I really like that about this spread and I think it was a lot of fun. It kind of even took it back to basics with that like black and white and pink and teal. Those are colors that I know that I used to kind of rely on in my spreads. So I was really happy to see them back this week. So yeah, this was a lot of fun to do and thank you guys for everyone who watched this video and who checked it out and all of that stuff. So I really appreciate all of your support. So that is this spread and I will link the plan with me for this down below and in the I cards. So anytime there is a plan with me on a spread that I'm flipping through, I'll link that for you as well. So you can check that out. And this was my spread for the week before Mother's Day. I had been looking at these florals since I got the sticker book last year and they came in one of the memory keeping stickers books. So I'll link that one down below, but it has a green cover, I believe. And they were so pretty in the spring section. And I just never could like justify using them or when I wanted to put them in my planner. So this week got a big dose of these really muted color florals. So I love them. They kind of look like the exposure is maybe too high or something. I just love all the colors and how they're contrasted. They just look really, really gorgeous. And they look really great with the checklists on the bottom. I think
think the color palette is really nice. So, so yeah, I really, really liked this one. And it was kind of a simple week, so I got to do a little bit more decor in my planner, which was really fun. And then this is the current week that we're on. And again, I did not do a plan with me on this one, just because this is the week of the Mambi release, so I have a lot of flip throughs and stuff coming out. But I also, again, just kind of wanted to be in my plan. The checklists are filled out all the way through Wednesday because we are currently on Wednesday as I'm filming. And yeah, so these are not done yet, but they will be. And I love this. So a lot of these stickers came out of the washi books. So like these are from the washi books and these like scalloped stickers right here. This one is from the washi book. This is from Trendsetter from last year. This is from the washi book also. That's a Trendsetter. We have colorful boxes. These checklists came from a variety of different books. I think these ones are from the teacher one. These came from squad goals. So I kind of mishmashed a lot of different things, but I knew that I wanted to use these unicorn stickers and I knew that I wanted to use this quote. This has kind of been like my guiding principle this week and just kind of for the month of May in general, I've seen a lot of people, well, no, that's not true. Actually, I'm gonna take that back and flip it around. So I've seen a lot of really wonderful people in the planner community with a few people who promote negativity and just really are not kind in the planner community. But for the most part, the planner community is a beautiful place. So I wanted to remind myself that let's root for each other and watch each other grow because that is like my motto. Like if I could have a mantra, that would be it. I wanna watch everyone else, you know, root for everyone else and watch each other grow. I think that there is room for everyone to be successful. I don't like how sometimes the planner community can be competitive. Like your spread is not as good as her spread or you plan differently so you're not as good or you use this planner and they use this planner so they're not as good. I don't know. I feel like that vibe is kind of taking over and there's just a lot of competition. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of people like bashing people behind their backs and it's just kind of disgusting. If you are a positive person, I am so happy that you are a follower of my channel. If you know any of those negative people, my like my advice is just to be nice to them. When I'm working with my students, you know, I hear their stories about bullies and stuff and honestly, bullies don't stop in the schoolyard. Like bullies don't stop in high school. There are adult bullies in the planner community and I'm just gonna focus on the positivity and I hope that you guys will too. And I love the reminders from all of you guys to focus on the positivity because I've said this before that sometimes it's easy to get wrapped up in the negativity. And like a while ago, I found myself like responding to more negative comments and positive comments and I was like, wait, like that's not the right way to do things. <laughs> so now that I'm off on a tangent and I'm kind of rambling, this spread was all about positivity and fun and bright colors and going into summer. So I just wanted to, you know, give everybody kind of a little bit of a pep talk. This spread was a lot of fun to do. And yeah, I hope that you guys really liked it. And I will go ahead and flip back through everything as we are closing out. So if you are new around here, I hope that you will hit that red subscribe button down below. My name is Caitlin and I would love it if you would join our positive community here and be a member of the Bam Bam. And if you are one of my current subscribers, thank you again for all of your support. I got your DMs on Instagram and I try to reply every single time I can, but I appreciate you so, so much. I try to get back to every one of your comments as I can. So just be patient if I haven't gotten back to yours yet, but I love your comments. I read every single one of them and they make my day. So just to kind of give back to you, here is your internet hug for the day. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today.